we have got a check engine light on. So we're going to head out to the WRX right now after I slip my boots on here. And we're going to try and figure out what's going on. I've got my access port with me. This is for a 2004 STI or a 2006 WRX with the 2.5 liter. See, that's my Subaru. Well, that's not mine. You're going to be able to read the code. This is P1443 right here. This vapor can. Charcoal canisters located at the right rear of the car. Vent valve. When the valve starts to fail, it makes it hard to put fuel in the gas tank. Or petrol if you're watching this overseas. This is a good place to start if you're having trouble putting fuel in the tank. I use some PB Blaster and let the bolt soak for a few minutes. Now to get to the other bolt, we're going to travel underneath here. You go upside down. After you undo this last bolt here, this nut, I mean. This canister should, unless it's stuck on here. Should drop down and that gives you room to get to the other bolt which you need I guess you can just kind of rest it that's not too good of an idea to rest it like this um, I'm gonna get something to prop this canister up chop towels to the rescue to this other bolt right here which will take down this little electrical unit that we're trying to get to Really surprised how easy all the bolts came off. I bet you they're not going to be this easy in the WRX. And if they are, awesome. Now we're probably going to want to note which way, orientation wise, these hoses are on on this thing. This little piece down. To pull the two hoses off of it and then you have to whittle it off the mount on top which seems to be the hardest part so far we're going to put the new one on the STI then we're going to take the one from the STI and put it on the WRX because the WRX is malfunctioning and the WRX is very old to begin with so I, I put the new stuff on here and take the stuff from the STI that's still functioning and put it on the WRX because most of the electronics fit, um, everything like this fits, the canisters fit, uh, coolant hoses, the radiators don't match up. Sometimes they do on certain WRXs, but the GG wagons they don't. Blah, 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 blah. The new one with the hook up here. Hook that up into there. Once that's hooked up, you can put the canister back on. Make sure you plug the electrical connection all the way back in so it snaps. Let's go over right here. And a couple knocks, retighten it. Take it around again and retighten it. Trust me, it'll save you a whole bunch of, of weird noises. I thought my suspension was going crazy, everything. And I found out it was this charcoal canister had become a touch loose. And some of the rust was getting metal to metal and just sounding terrible. 
disconnect your negative battery, or if you have the access port, you can clear the ECU codes and go on driving. If the same code returns, you might have to check a few other pieces to the puzzle here. If the canister has become compromised with debris and fuel from overfilling, you might have to replace that. Parts of the EVAP system include the solenoid. Purge solenoid has two hoses coming from it. The purge valve is that black ring. The arrow should be pointed to the hose that enters the inlet. Starting with the turbo inlet, it goes into the purge valve, into the blue T, down the bottom of the blue T goes into the EVAP connection. The top connection of the EVAP goes into the intake manifold. And the other side of the blue T goes under the intake manifold to the fuel line vent. The other side of the black ring has a hose that goes to the intake manifold. Here on the WRX it shows the EVAP system a little more clearly. So I hope this was a detailed enough look at these systems for the EVAP system if you're getting any of these codes. Alright everyone, I have another channel out there. If you're into Disney stuff and planning Disney vacation, it's Epcot1986EO. Give it a like, subscribe, comment. Thanks guys.